What's up, mobile gamers? It's Drones or Gigs, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the characters that a lot of people have been thinking might need nerfs or maybe like a, a less, like small reworks and stuff like that. Because a lot of people have been kind of complaining and posting about how OP these heroes are and stuff like that. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys my thoughts and kind of showcase what the community thinks needs changes. Because I know a lot of people, maybe they don't keep up with the Discord or maybe the YouTuber they follow is more of like a gameplay YouTuber. So they just do nice cool clips or AMVs and stuff like that. So the first one that a lot of people think needs a nerf is Zero Kelvin. Now, if you guys have been keeping up with some of my other videos, a lot of these heroes will come into play in those videos. So we actually had a video a couple days ago that I did where the enemy had a Zero Kelvin and my team just completely shut him down. I think he got like one kill the entire match and he wasn't too hard to deal with. So Zero Kelvin's definitely one of the ones that's at the top of the he needs a nerf category because a lot of people are still, you know, saying like his damage is way too much. His health is way too much and he's hard to counter because he can just stand behind the snowballs. And you've seen if you've seen any of my other videos or even videos of other people playing Zero Kelvin or going against Zero Kelvin, you'll see that they have been staying closer to those snowballs like I've been telling people to. And that really increases his strength because his passive can heal him and you can basically take your cover and move it around and use it whenever you want to damage the enemy. So you can't really get close to him because unless you have a, a hero who's full health, you're not going to be able to win the fight. Because a lot of the time, you know, if you take one shot from, say, like a Gloria or something, then a lot of the time she will do enough damage that you go to, against the Zero Kelvin and then he just hits you one time with a snowball and you die. So Zero Kelvin definitely is one of the top ones that people are saying needs a nerf. And I'll give you my, my thoughts on this in just a little bit here. The other one is actually going to be Hua Ling. So I know a lot of you guys are like, maybe you're like, oh, Hua Ling's not even that strong or... You know, in a lot of the cases for the higher level play, Hualing is just insane. If you're if you're jumping at the same time as you're shooting, you don't even have to get headshots or anything like that. You can just you just won't take very much damage and you'll be able to two two or three shot most heroes. So Hualing's definitely strong. Um, in my personal opinion, I don't think she is as strong as some of the other heroes on this list. Now there's only really four heroes on the list of the ones that the community thinks need a nerf. And Hualing is definitely up there on some of the stronger heroes as far as like the top dogs when you're talking about ranked play and competitive and stuff like that. So the other one, if it'll click there, the other one is going to be Hunter. Now, I know a lot of you guys saw this coming. Everybody thinks Hunter needs a nerf. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not even very good at the game. And whenever I face a hunter, it's not that bad. Like, I would rather face a hunter over anybody else on this list any day of the week. But I can totally understand where people are coming from when they say he needs a nerf. Because his headshot damage is super crazy. You know, I think maybe if you just take away some of his mag a little bit. Or maybe you decrease the headshot multiplier by, like, a couple percentages or something depending on what it is i don't even know what it is maybe it's like 1.5 and you can bring it down to like 1.0 but hunter is on the list of heroes that people think need a nerf and then we'll go to the next one here now this is definitely not going to surprise any of you because the hero that people think needs a nerf is aletta as well so those four heroes are who people think need a nerf and aletta is probably at the top of the list I know Jordy Goes Rar did a like a community poll on YouTube and she was the most chosen out of the four for like who needs a nerf. And this might surprise you, but when last I looked at it, the one that needs the nerf the least, according to the community that he polled, was actually Zero Kelvin. So I was very surprised to see that. Now I will say, if you guys watch my videos, if you are members of the channel and all that kind of stuff. You probably don't think any of these guys need nerfs because I pretty much suck with all four of them. Now, if I was going to 
pull up my list of heroes here and I was going to say like, oh, which one is the best hero out of all the ones I have? Then you would probably be like, okay, zero Kelvin's at the bottom. And then you scroll up and you've got Hunter and Aletta and then up there's Hualing and she's one of my higher ranked heroes. So they're all kind of in the generally the same spot except for zero Kelvin. And I would say that for me personally, the one I have the most success with is zero Kelvin. So a lot of you guys have been saying that he needs a nerf. And when I said Hunter doesn't need a nerf, you guys are like, oh, how can you say that? And I just think that if you're going for overall balance, you look at Hunter and his kit and you see that his, his ability does a little bit of damage. It does 1400 damage when it lands on the opponent. And then it can pretty much show the whole team where that person is, even if they're cloaked like Aletta, Aletta or Johnny. So the tactical's decently strong. I think the charge shot is not very good, and his passive is pretty good as well. So he has a solid kit, but what makes him super insane is the damage on the flare. I think they should remove that. And then for the gun, I think if you just maybe minimize how much damage how much damage it does, or maybe the mag size, that'd be a totally fine nerf. Now I know he's strong, but I wouldn't say he's overpowered. Nowhere near where Hua Ling and zero kelvin were when they first came out because both of them needed extreme nerfs now as far as zero kelvin goes when he doesn't have his snowball he is pretty much a sitting duck so if you guys saw the other video we were pretty much able to counter him because he'd throw his snowball and then when he did that he was basically vulnerable and the snowball is really his only his only weapon i don't even think his his primary weapon or his health is really that much of a risk i mean he has at let's see max level his shield and hp puts him at like 1300 which is pretty close to where all the other all the other tanks are when they're at full health and stuff like that so i don't think that zero kelvin if they make a nerf to him i think they reduce his snowball dance snowball health when it's placed they just reduce that down a little bit more so he can't just sit behind it. I think that'd be a good nerf. And then the last two here is Swallowing and Aletta. So we're actually going to jump into a game with Aletta. And I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like when a normal player plays Aletta. Because a lot of people are super, you know, goaded with the sauce or whatever you guys want to say. Whatever the slang is for people that are really good at the game. And I would say that I am not one of those people. And I think that if you look at the problems that I have with Aletta personally whenever I face an Aletta. The problems that I have is she just goes all over the place and she's too fast to follow and stuff like that. And most of the time, the reason I have a hard time dealing with Aletta is because of the internet capabilities or like the matchmaking lag. That's what I would say Aletta's main like area of skill is is if your opponent is not able to react fast enough especially on mobile no now a lot of people are like oh well Three, if you're two, on an emulator you one. shouldn't be able to play with mobile Stop. players and i definitely agree Come with that because if you, if you look at my screen my jump button is on the bottom so i can't even take full full Go! use okay. of her jump there so that just shows you that you know, my movement, even compared to some of the better Alettas in the mobile scene, is not even that good. And it looks like our team is actually really good. So we're going to try to stay by the Hualing so we can show you guys how good she is as well as show you how good I am. And I think that Aletta is probably the one that needs a nerf the most. And the reason I say that is because her ability to abuse lag and matchmaking problems is just increased tenfold like if if they are lagging right now i can go in there and i can like dash once and they won't even have time to look over to where i am so we're gonna use our ultimate there on the osas all right so she got the health so she managed to survive but as you can see Walling's ultimate right there. Really, really good. 
I would say that if I was going to pick one of these guys to nerf, like if you're like, oh, you can only pick one because all the other ones are balanced or whatever, I think it would actually be Aletta because her movement speed is crazy, her double jump is crazy, and if you're on an emulator instead of mobile, I think she's absolutely busted. Like, she's insane. Like, you can heal with her first ultimate, you can go invisible with her first ultimate, and one of the only people that actually counters her is Hunter, because his tactical is able to show where she is when she's Your invisible, so we're still probably going to win, so I'm not too worried about that, we'll just keep talking to you guys, and that's why I know somebody said, like, oh, you should put that the gameplay starts at this time, and for me, the gameplay is really secondary, like, I just want you guys to have something to watch while I talk here, so that's one of the reasons I didn't put that in a lot of my videos, is because I just talk so much about the game, that half the time I don't even realize when the match is over or like how close we are to winning and stuff like that. So we're gonna try to get him before he grabs the health and he grabbed the health and okay, we're probably gonna die here, but that's okay. So it looks like my team actually team wiped them, so we don't even have to worry about dying. But as you can see, like, I'm not even that good with Aletta, and she's still super strong. Like, they did team wipe us there because we kind of ran into Shell's ultimate. But Aletta is super strong. She can reach high places. She can dash around people. Her ultimate makes her invisible. It also does a crazy amount of damage. It gives her self-healing. So, as you can see, I'm at, like, half health right here. We're gonna drop the ultimate. And now we're back at full health, and I didn't even stay in the ultimate's invisibility as long as I could have. So, but, then again, you look at something like that, and I still died and got no kills. So, it really comes down to, like, who is using the hero. Because I think that these players that everybody's watching that are super good with all these heroes, they're like, how the hell, you only have one death, and you got like 20 kills. Just kidding. So we're dashed through this. And they are staying right at their spawn, which is unfortunate for us, but hopefully we can Your team grab the shell. And so now I'm at like a super low health number, and then I'm gonna drop my ultimate, and I'm gonna stay in it the whole time. So that's almost full health. That's almost back to full health. I just wanted to show you guys that, even if we lose the match, but... Her ultimate is super crazy. I know a lot of people prefer the second one, but the second one is just as crazy. It still gives you insane amount of health regen. It gives you a speed boost. The only thing it doesn't give you is that crazy amount of damage, and it can be argued that even though the damage on your guns is, you know, toned down a little bit, that it still gives you just as much damage because you're able to basically survive and fight people without actually taking any damage to your health and it's like a, an, an invincibility for a partial amount of time. So I definitely see why Aletta is the one that people are saying <clears throat> needs a nerf the most and I would tend to agree with them because I would say that out of all the heroes that I've faced, the most busted ones that I've come across like oh my god he is so good at the game that are the heroes that have a big skill cap and even if they're good it's the player that makes them insane it's gonna be Aletta and actually Cosma. I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh what the hell Cosma? like really but I've faced some Cosmas that would make me rather face anybody else on this list even Aletta's where Cosma has just been so oppressive and good in the match that we're playing that he's insane. Now, a lot of people are like, okay, so there's four heroes that need a nerf, and you think it's Aletta, even though you suck with her and she's not that good or whatever. And the answer is that she is insane on an emulator. She is insane if you have good internet. And the matchmaking in this game is not very good to begin with. So even if you have good internet you can still lag when you're put into these ranked matches or these matches where you have a team that's three stacking. And even just a small, tiny amount of lag makes Aletta absolutely busted. And so that's why 
I think she is the most dangerous and the best of the four, but I honestly don't know how you would nerf her. Because if you slow her dash down, she's just a sitting duck because she doesn't have enough health. Um, you can't take away her double jump because then she has no passive. I think if you, maybe on her ultimate, right, if you remove, maybe it doesn't heal you as much. Or maybe it doesn't do as much damage. Or maybe you reduce the cooldown. There's definitely a lot of things they can do with the ultimate. But what's going to happen is, if they reduce her decoy bomb then people will just start using hollow burst which honestly is still just as good i know a lot of people are saying like the damage for the decoy bomb is not an even trade-off but i would say that the hollow burst if you're good with aletta makes her untouchable because the speed boost combined with the jump combined with any sort of lag you have in a match is going to make aletta absolutely a nuisance to deal with and then you're just going to lose the game 20 to 0, you know what I mean? Like, it's just going to be one-sided. Now, I think that Hua Ling and Hunter are a lot easier to counter than Aletta and um, Zero Kelvin. So that's why I would put those two down on the bottom. Like, if you were to have a hierarchical who-needs-a-nerf type thing, I think Zero Kelvin and Aletta are probably the ones that need the nerf the most because the amount of times that I've gone against a Hunter that's super good have not been as many as an Aletta or a Zero Kelvin. And that's because Zero Kelvin was just busted when he first came out. And I think that a lot of people are calling for a nerf when he just got his first nerf. So I think we need to kind of let it settle and see where it's at. Whereas Aletta's been busted from day one. She's been she's been S rank in my opinion from day one. So has Osos actually if you if you're being honest with yourselves. But Aletta has been busted since day one, and she really hasn't gotten any changes at all. I can't remember her getting a change. I think she's pretty much been where she's at for the most part for the whole time. And, you know, maybe maybe the devs are like, oh, well, Aletta is busted in the community, but she doesn't have a high win rate or she doesn't have a high kill rate. And so maybe her numbers aren't as crazy and those outliers that you see that are just busted with Aletta are really just that they're outliers and they're not affecting the meta as much as some of the like run of the mill players so maybe she's not as busted on the general level and those high rank players those pro players are the ones that are busted with Aletta and it's not enough to change her stats and everything like that overall so you know there's a lot of stuff to think about let me know in the comments what you guys think, who you think needs a nerf. Maybe you should uh, rank these four. Tell me who you think needs the nerf the most out of the four and who doesn't because there's definitely some merit to say that all four of them need a nerf and I can see where people are coming from from each side of the aisle and stuff like that. So I just want to tell you guys my thoughts. I think Aletta is probably the one that is the strongest right now out of those four. So those are my thoughts Drop a sub and drop your opinions in the comments. Let me know what you think because I definitely I want to read you guys' opinions and I don't have any sort of, I don't know how to do the polls that Jordy does, but definitely check out his poll and vote on it as well on his YouTube channel. So you guys have a good one. Peace out.